This tutorial demonstrates how to create a heat map using a Maptitude density grid. A density grid transforms the points in a point layer into a regular grid. This makes it easy to identify customer concentrations, crime hotspots, or disease outbreaks. In addition, the grid can be weighted based on a value you choose. First, make the point layer that you want to analyze the working layer by choosing it from the drop-down list on the standard toolbar, or by right-clicking in the Display Manager and choosing Make Working Layer. Choose Tools, Geographic Analysis, Create Density Grid. Choose to use all features, just the visible features in your map, or a selection set. I've already created a selection set of hotels in the Paris area that I'm going to use. In addition, you can choose a weighting field. I have a field that has the number of rooms in each hotel, so I'm going to weight my density grid by that. Maptitude chooses a radius to use around the layer and a cell width for displaying the grid appropriate for the current map scale. In general, you can ignore these settings, but if you would like the density analysis to extend farther from the points in your layer, you can increase the radius value. And if you want to create a higher resolution grid, you can make the cell width smaller. Also, by checking the theme box, the density grid will automatically display with a color theme illustrating the results. Enter a name for the new layer and click Save. Now I'll zoom in on Paris and hide the hotel layer and we can see exactly which neighborhoods have the greatest concentration of hotel rooms. And that wraps up this tutorial on creating a density grid.